Hey and welcome to video number three. You are going to learn in this video how to rebrand the mini site and e-covers yourself. So what I want to do is just give you a quick overview here and then I'm going to go straight into showing you how to edit the, uh, the graphics and everything like that with Photoshop. Now I want to give you some e-cover creator resources so I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to show you how to get Photoshop where you can get it cheap for you know $19 per month or $29 per month. That way, you know, if you want to play around with it and you don't really want to spend, you know, $300 on it, you know, right off the bat, then you can go this avenue. And then I'm going to use Photoshop on a live example so that you can see, you know, over my shoulder exactly how to you know, change the title, change the subtitle, change the graphics, change the gra background, and so forth. So with that said, let's go and get started. So for those of you who don't really want to use Photoshop, I want to give you an option. Let's say, for example, that you only want to revamp or rebrand your e-covers. Uh, you don't really care about the mini site or the header and the footer and stuff like that. You just want to create really cool, you know, box shots and e-covers and stuff like that. So what I want to do first is give you, you know, the resources, point you and recommend you to certain ebook and e-cover creators. There's one called boxshot3d.com up here. So if you go to this site here, uh, you'll be forwarded to here and you can take a look at their uh, boxes or e-covers and, and so forth. Right now I'm looking at their ebook covers. And as you can see, it's very professional, very nice looking. And the beauty of it is you don't need to have Photoshop. It does cost money, however. So it really depends on what you plan to do in the future. You know, you want to look long term here. If you're planning to go all out and just create e-covers and you don't need Photoshop, you know, use this. Another great place uh, you can go to is ecovercreator3d.com. And it's got eight... 3D e-cover designs, you pay a one-time fee, you create it over and over again and create your e-covers over and over again. So these are, you know, low cost solutions. They're not, you're not going to be really able to really, really tweak them to the fullest extent. But if that's really the basics is all you need, then that's really all you need to do. And the third one is ecoverbot.com, as you can see here. You can, as you can see, you can try it for free, test it out, see if you like it. If you like it, then, you know, create more. Now what I want to talk about is Cover Action Pro, which is an action script, but you need Photoshop in order to use Cover Action Pro. Now most people use Cover Action Pro. I use Cover Action Pro. And what it is, they are action scripts. So when you're going into Photoshop, you can edit, you know, flat, a picture and then you go in and use cover action pro and you click a few buttons and what it does is it actually allows you to convert the flat image you know to a 3d image so there's a little more flexibility with cover action pro and uh, they've been around and i believe they were one of the first you know people to create uh, these types of e-covers and so forth so that's that um, now i want to move on and show you where you can get Photoshop for $19 or $29. It really depends on what avenue you choose. So let's say, for example, you want to use Photoshop. You want to learn how to use that. And you want to get, if you go to adobe.com slash product slash creative suite slash CSS or CS subscription dot HTML. Um, or you can go to Google and just type in, you know, Photoshop monthly uh, rent. And then as you can see, it's only $19 per month. You can also pay for other subscriptions as well. On the one year plan, if you go with their one year plan, it's $19 a month. So that's roughly 19 times, 20 times 12. But if you go on a monthly to monthly basis and you don't do the one year plan and you don't feel like, you know, dishing out that much money up front, then you can always go with their $29.99 uh, per month. 
So with that said, let me move on quickly to Photoshop and we're going to go ahead and edit the live example and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so right now we're looking at the the live example, the files here. And normally they will provide you with the Photoshop PSD file. So anything PSD is Photoshop files. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and open that. Okay, so I opened up all of the Photoshop files or the PSD files. <clears throat> And you'll notice that some of them are 3D e covers. The ones that are 3D e covers, you can't actually change. So the ones that are flat, for example, the flat covers like this, you can actually change. And then you can actually change this by using layers. Now, I probably don't have enough time to give you a full course on using Adobe Photoshop, but I will give you an overview of, you know, in relation to e-covers, you know, how to edit them and so forth. Basically, the one of the best parts of using Adobe Photoshop is their layers or their ability, your ability to use layers. What layers are Imagine like 10 sheets of transparent plastic and on each transparent plastic they have an image. So with layers you can actually move with transparent plastic you can move the images around, you can reorder the the layers so that one layer is on top of the other and so forth and so forth. That's just an analogy that I use to explain layers. Layers are your friends and I love layers because they just make your life easier. For example, if you were to edit a image and paint, then if you make a mistake, you can't just delete that layer. You have to delete or change out the whole image. But with a layer, for example here, I could move the butterfly around. See, so if I select the butterfly layer, I could move the butterfly layer. Or if I wanted to change the font, I could change the font. So if I select this and I select the text, I could actually change the text and the font. So instead of caring for your feline friend, I could just say cat training 101. And if I wanted to swap out the images, I could do that. And I could, rem if you click on the eye here, you can make it disappear. So the eye doesn't mean that I deleted the layer, it just means that I made it visible and unvisible. And if you want to, for example, insert an image, you could import new images. And you could easily just find images. For example, if I go here and I go, let's see here. Sales letter images. You know, let's say for example, I wanted to put a different image. All you have to do is drag and drop it in here, and you would see the image here. And you can even you can just move around the image and and this and that. But I'm going to let's say I made a I made a boo boo or made a mistake, and I'm like, oops. I accidentally inserted an image or I accidentally deleted something. So, you know, if that's the case, then if you go to history, you can actually backtrack and undo, you know, step by step by step. 
So that's the beauty of histories and actions would be, you know, the Cover Action Pro. Now, Cover Action Pro does cost some money, so just keep that in mind that um, <clears throat> in order to use Photoshop, you'll need to get Photoshop and Cover Action Pro. And if you want to outsource it, you can. So that's why I give you different avenues. If you click up here on Window, you'll notice with the window it gives you different windows and different options and stuff like that most of what you'll need is just mainly this window here the basic window the history window the actions window and the layers window so as you can see you have changed the headline here and you can easily change this to a different color and keep your cat happy and healthy you could even remove that you could change that change the subtitle all you have to do in using adobe photoshop is to select the layer and then if it's a text then select text here and then click on here and just highlight it and you can say cat training 101 <clears throat> secrets revealed like expert we'll say expert reveals secrets revealed reveals secrets and we could add the butterfly again and this one, so and so forth so as you can see, it's really, really easy to change the headline, the subheadline, swap out images, import images. And once you're done, of course, you want to click on save. And if you click on save as, you can actually save this as a different image. So, you know, if you wanted to get away from using Cover Action Pro, and you didn't want to dish out the money yet you could use the flat cover you know you could take this save it as as a uh, PNG JPEG file save as and just choose stuff like let's see PNG files JPEG files and then you can also just insert this cover into your rebranded report and I'll show you how to replace images in your rebranded report in a different video and you can do the same thing to the footer to the header and so forth use layers layers definitely your friend as you can see here change the text change the images remove the images that you don't want you can change the color and so forth. Just remember that in order to edit a layer, you need to select it and then edit it. So we'll we can edit this cat training 101. Secrets revealed. And being that it kind of went off the edge there I could make it smaller font it's 42 right now so I can make it at 24 or that's too small so I can adjust it until I like it and do the same thing rinse and repeat click on save and that's how to edit graphics it's really not that hard and there are always ways around the system like I said if you don't want to use cover action pro you don't have to you can simply edit the header the footer and the cover and use the flat e cover as a cover it just looks better when it's 3d and if you have it you could save this and you don't want to buy cover action pro you could go to fiverr.com and find somebody who does have cover action pro to do that for you so there are many different avenues out there that you can take